What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Hondu. This is episode five, episode five, and today we're going to be going over just with a few questions today. You got Sergio Ramos, fanboy over here, Manab over here to the left. Say, what's up, man? <laughs> all good, all good. What's up? All right, and we got Hassan down there, ready to box out anybody who's coming at him. Look at him, just trying to be him. Hey, hey, don't don't mess with the guy who defeated Liverpool. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just saw that today. Congrats. I was shocked when I saw it. I was like 2 1. I was like, yo, this must, a goal must have been disallowed or something. But I watched the highlights and I was like, yo, VVD was slipping? I can't believe he was caught slipping yeah, like that. Virgil Mustafi today. Yeah, I saw him get angry at his back line. I was like, hey, you can't even say nothing, man. Like, chill, chill, bro. Like, you need to calm down. <laughs> but uh, congrats to you and all Arsenal fans out there, you know, for the win. It was not what we expected. I didn't expect, uh, you know. Oh, shit. Now that they're not going to reach 100 points anymore. That's bad. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, so anyone saying that Liverpool team was better, this Liverpool team was better than the City one. Uh, nah. That's think- not true. Yeah. I, I, I met a couple cats who were thinking that. I'm like, no, there's no way. There's no way. I'm sorry. No. That city team was just killing you slowly. <laughs> slowly. Liverpool, Liverpool yeah. was just like, it's like an AK-47. And City is like, <laughs> you know, you know that Hannibal shit where they just cut you like slowly and shit and stuff. It's, it's weird. City is like people serial are saying even people are saying they're better than the invincible Arsenal team. Are y'all crazy? Are you kidding me? That invincible team was invincible. That's, that was crazy. I couldn't ma- – just physically, technically, y'all were ridiculous. We didn't lost a single game. I don't even know why they compared it. Hey, they throw, they throw those draws at you, though. Like, what was it, 12 draws? No. Like, it's still 12 draws. That don't matter. We didn't lose a goddamn game. Hey, competition was better too. You had che- yeah. Chelsea was good. Chelsea was good. United, United was prime. United was good. United. Yeah. United. Uh, Liverpool, they weren't great, great, but they could still win a game. Mm-hmm. Spurs was, City was shit. <laughs> yeah, City was shit. Spurs were kind of the same way. They would turn up whenever they play Arsenal, though. They'd be a couple times mm-hmm. when they play y'all, they turn up. But, uh, all that being said, let's just go ahead and knock off the first question real quick. Or not even just the first question. Let's just talk about it. United's 2-2 draw. Uh, Manav, what did you think of their draw? Like, how do you think it happened? Who's to blame? Um, uh, just your take on it. To be honest, I actually did not see the game today. I was more interested in the Liverpool one. No, no, the oh, United yes, draw with um, – th- it was like – it was uh, like – Two days ago. Oh, yeah. I know that they played Southampton today. Let me just give you... It was two days ago. Yeah, that was that was two days ago. That was a day. That was yesterday. Wait, yeah, like yesterday, yeah. So, I mean, like, they're even having a problem because of the congested fixtures, right? Because they, they, they have two games in the span of 48 hours. I think they're supposed to be playing Crystal Palace tomorrow. Oh, so, yeah. I don't think it's the team to blame or the... Players to blame because like the players have been performing fantastically. Ole has been doing well. I just think it's the fixture congestion because it's 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 effed up. Okay, okay, I can see that. Yeah, um, I know for um, for what's I think I think they Luke Shaw and Williamson are both injured. I'm pretty sure. I think it's both. I know Williamson is, but. I think Luke Shaw's actually injured too after that, so they're kind of down to the bare bones, and they don't have Ashley Young to call upon. So that's mm-hmm. kind of interesting. Uh, Hassan, what did you think of that? I know that made you happy. <laughs> uh, I mean, I really, I really didn't mind. I didn't actually watch the game, but two to a result, they probably fatigued because they had a lot of game to play in like a matter of a week. So it's like, yeah, it, it comes down to them being tired because that 11 starting lineup, they've been playing 
uh, Oli Oli been putting out the starting lineup for every single game because I, I, I probably think they're like very I mean, tired. Their lineup looks quite fantastic for the game. It's, that's what I'm saying. But overrun at Old Trafford, and I think the the last goal was I think the, because I, I think it was it was from the Harry Maguire meme that he was marking the wrong player. <laughs> he was marking his own player. Yeah. It, it's weird. I don't understand how people will be marking the wrong. Like, I understand it's the Premier League and everyone's tough, but nigga, when you like five seven, and you guarding someone who's six foot something, you call it a day. Like, you just go ahead and talk to someone else and you say, "Hey, let me just switch up on your old boy right, right real quick." I don't understand that, but maybe you got maybe maybe it was the fatigue because I know that I had people saying that was uh, Lindelof. It was his mistake. And that, or it was Harry Maguire's mistake, but all they had to do was literally hold on for a minute. Like I was actually training with my, uh, I was actually training, and I checked my phone, and it was like two one. And I was like, all right, bet. So it's gonna be wrapped up. And literally, I just got the pop up that what's his name scored for Southampton, and I was just like, wow, just dropped the ball like that. No, what's what's really shocking to me, and I'm regretting right now. I literally called him Maguire one of the best players last episode. <laughs> True, true. I mean, man, let me down the next game after the episode. Told you, I didn't tell you nothing, but he's just. It was funny. It was the one thing he's supposed to be good at: the headers. Like I was, I was hoping he could be cleared out, but to be honest, I would have trusted Bayi to clear it out before I trust Lindelof. It's just his injuries and stuff like that. I would take Bayi and uh, what's his uh, Maguire pair, but. Truthfully, we I don't mean, follow. The player who scored the scored the 90th minute goal, his name is Michael Obafemi. Have you even heard of the guy? No, I saw him. Nah, and I saw the name. Yeah. It caught me off guard. Yeah, when I saw the name, I was like, "Who?" It don't matter now. He scored the. He tied it up. But um, I know. Mar- I saw. Mar- I saw the highlights. I didn't see the whole game. I saw a little bit of it, but uh, I saw mainly the highlights and Martial. Oh my gosh, man! I don't know how you guard him. You co- if he's coming from the left side, you're dead. There's no chance you can get back up. It's like you're drowning. And the guy he went up against, I was like, oh no, no, that's not that's not the move. That's not the move. You need to go off the field injured. I would if Martial scores a goal like that on me, I would fake an injury <laughs> just just to make it seem like hey, he just didn't do it. <laughs> I'd fake an injury. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, the problem is he's inconsistent. I don't know. He's been consistent these last few games. He actually hasn't been bad since the break, and I think even a little bit before the break. Martial has been like, he's been turning up. He may not have been scoring every game, but he's been – like, I know he got an assist that game for Rashford, and it was a good assist too, and he mm-hmm. got the goal. So he was there probably their – I don't I don't, I want to say their best player. Probably, yeah, I'd say he's the best player but, that day. Jordan, do you think it's Bruno Fernandes who's bringing out the best in the players, or is it Ole? Nah. Ole? Who do you think is bringing out the best in the players? Is it Bruno Fernandes, or is it Ole? Bruno, I think I think uh, Ole, he's put, to, he's put together the right tactic, but mm-hmm. it's just that he never had the, the right players, and so he got yeah, the yeah, player, yeah. and so the players come in and he's doing it. I'm not going to say Ollie's like a world-class manager because he he luckily had the money to get that player and he got him. So I don't it's like a it's like football manager's just a plug-in tactic. You're not you're not a great manager. You're just someone who put put a tactic in place and you just win all these games. So it's down to the players at the end of it. I don't I don't think uh Ollie has too much to do with it. Um, we'll see as the time goes on and stuff like that, but uh, I think he's, I think he's, I think he's doing a good job, but only because the players are doing more of the job than he is. I think if if he wasn't there and it was Hassan who was the manager and they had the same players, they'd still be winning like they are now. I don't think there's I'm much of a difference. You, bro. <laughs> I, I don't think there's much of a difference, but I, I have to say. Maybe in a season or two, he might change my opinion. Who knows? But uh, we'll see. But uh, after, actually, I do have a question for you guys. So for Chelsea, if let's say Werner comes in, mm-hmm. right? 
do you got how what is the goal tally you guys are expecting Vernon to get in his first full season? Uh, I expect uh, anywhere between 20 and 25 goals. Uh, are you just talking about the PL or the entire season? Oh, uh, the entire season. Yeah, 20, 25 goals is something really. I don't Real think a player like Werner should be a lot. It's not La Liga, bro. He's his Premier League. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I hear a lot of people saying he like, oh, he's great. Uh, he's a, he he is a he's an amazing striker. But is he amazing even though he only show, uh, he was only great in the Bundesliga? Trust me, he's really he I got mean, potential. Like, that you guy judge specifically just because he was amazing in one league. Like the Premier League is the Premier League. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I yeah. think he's like if he would if let's say he went to United. And he was on the right hand side. I could definitely see him burning up that right side pretty well because he's got the. Uh, he's a striker. Well, I don't think I, he would not succeed at United at all. Werner is not United material. Okay, what, what's United material? Tell me, tell me about that. What, what are what are the molecules for that? What's a United player? A, fa- a false nine. A false nine. Hey, bird, the no. <laughs> <laughs> I think a United player should be like fit. If you say Benzema, man, I'm going to cut you out. I swear to God. Hey, if you say hey, Benzema. You gotta, <laughs> I'm not going to say Benzema, sure. Like, I, I think many players that United buy right now are not turning out as great as they're supposed to be. Like, the only, only person who turned out great was Bruno. Like, Pogba is struggling. You got the Maguire who's struggling. World's most expensive defender. Well, is Bruno is Bruno Man United? Is he a Man United material? I mean, Bruno was Bruno is Man United material. Okay, hold on. Is he Man United material because he's turning up or because no, no, because he no hold up, I caught you. Wait, 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 I wait, caught wait. you. Hold up, I caught you, Sergio Ramos fanboy has. I got you. I got you just now. You think you slick, man, but I caught you. You think is he if he wasn't in the form right now, would you still say he's a Man United player? Sign. Dude, he was supposed to be in form. He, he, they needed a wide field in the midfield. But did and you Bruno think he was a Man United, United player before he signed? Like, before he even had his first game? Before he signed, he was already a good player. Like, but, like, being United, being United, everyone has doubts. Okay, so hold up. Is he a United player because – are you a United player only when you play well or are you a United player before you even get on the pitch? Like, what, what's, what's, the, what's the qualification? Because it, it could be like Man United wanted to sign me and you could say, oh, he's not a Man United player. And then I go out and I score 20 goals and it's like, oh, he's a United kind of signing. See, well, shit, the, man, where's that faith beforehand? <laughs> for the United kind of signing, you need to have the proper physique. You need to have the proper tactical style. Physique. You have the Bruno is skinnier than me. What you talking about? He's not even super fast. He's, He's not even super strong. Passer, though. He's an amazing passer, though. But you just said physique. Okay, so so you need to have a great physique, right, to be a Man United player. Yeah, I mean proper physique. Bro, I swear, Hassan, huh? Hassan, what do you say to this? Because I swear I'm catching him right now. So I don't even know. I really didn't understand what he said. Man, Man United. Yeah, I think you just said. I think you're full of shit right now for that. I think you actually full I, of shit for that. I am full of shit. I just don't know how to phrase what I'm saying right now. Just, I think you like the idea that he's in form, so you can just say he's, he's a Man United player, and it's his first no, season. No, I'm not like. Even Pogba was a Man United player before he joined Juventus. Okay, wait, wait. So, would you say he's the type of signing that you – Pogba is a Man United kind of signing? He's the kind of player that you want? Oh, uh, Pogba at United? Yeah, like, do you think he was – before he even got there, when there was rumors going on, would you have no, said that? I, I, to be honest, I didn't know what Pogba at United. Be, because you didn't think he was a Man United player? Because I did not think he was a Man United player. Exactly. Okay, so – and he has physique. He has, like, one of, he's one of the most physical guys you've ever seen, really, out here. I, I expected Bruno to shine at United. <laughs> I might – yo, I might retire. I might retire this <laughs> evening. This might be three hours. Shit, this might be three hours. Oh, my God. <laughs> I said, 
you on my side about this, right? Like you're not you're not understanding this, right? Yeah, I'm not really. Oh I'm not God. at all, to be honest. That's, that's all right, see, let, let me like put it properly right now, okay? So Please. are you the are, United are you saying... ta- So the United Tactic right now is under Ole. Ole is a student of Sir Alex Ferguson. If this was under like Mourinho, Van Hall, or Moyes, I would be completely confused. But if Alex Ferguson wanted to get rid of a player like Pogba and Ole was under him, definitely I don't think that Pogba would fit in the Man United face that. But, okay, wait, wait, hold, hold up. Now, are you saying United in terms of their playing style and just as a club as in, in, in general, like that fast attacking football that they, they're known to have? Yeah, exactly. Okay, okay, okay. So, I mean, me, wh- why do you think, like, they, they signed Memphis Depay? He was great at... PSG. So, is Martial a Man United signing? Is he, like, a Man United type of... Martial was a proper Man United signing. Did you see him the first season, like... United and like before he, he was, he was okay, okay so he has physique he has physique right and you said physique is what Man United play, uh, players Martial are looking did not have so much physique before he developed at United is, okay, is Daniel okay. James so a Man United type of Daniel James uh, oh, I okay. certainly did not think Daniel James was a Man United signing even if he plays good which I don't expect he will a lot I don't so think how, he, so how is Bruno was, a Man United was, signing sorry. if he's not physically great? Because he's going to develop at United. He's the type of player who can play at United. Okay, let's so say he wasn't in the form. Him. Let's say he wasn't in the form that he is now. Well, let's say that he had one assist since the beginning he's got here. Would you still say he's a United type of signing? I would say he's a United Bullshit, type. man. No, bullshit. Yeah, I would, I would. I would. I'm calling hear bullshit. Hear, hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hassan, Everyone has a bad day. Everyone has a bad day. I smell <laughs> bullshit. That's what I smell. <laughs> There's a difference between inconsistent and just being in bad form. But how can you tell? You're going off of what he's already done. It's difficult to. That's like me saying, um, you know what? A bombing was an was an Arsenal type of sign before he got here. It's easy for me to say that now. Because he's literally been the scorer for them every season. But when he first got there, let's say he didn't. He, let's say he only scored ten goals a season. That was it. Would you, Hassan, as an Arsenal man, would you actually be saying Aubameyang is an Arsenal signing if he only scored ten goals a season? And then you're just checking the results and judging the player by the result. Then you can say he's not a Premier League player. But that's the thing. I'm not understanding why what qualifies because you're saying Pogba was a, a Man United signing, like type of signing. I'm like, okay, cool. I didn't say Pogba was a United signing. I said Pogba was a United reject who should not have been signed in the first place. Okay, okay. So, so besides Bruno, who are any other yeah. Man United signings who are who are the type of players that Man United should have or, yeah, who are, who are what, what is a United signing? What what does it even look like to you? Because I'm I'm so confused because you say I mean, Bruno the- is. I mean the type of player who can come in, who can attach to the team immediately. But how do you know that until they do it? You don't know until they do it. I'm asking what is before. That's the United philosophy. They can judge the players. Well, shit. Yeah, I guess I, I'm sure Depay was someone who was going to really gel in there, huh? So Yeah, but I'm, like, but but I said Depay was signed under Moyes, I think, or was it Van Hal? Van Hal. Okay. Yeah, and, and Van, so it was Daniel so, James. So I said... Like I, I was really, I did not have any idea of signing that was made under Moyes, Van Hal, or Mourinho. But I understand Ole's style because it's it's almost the same as Sir Alex's style. Okay, we're gonna move on from this. I I, I think I understand <laughs> where you are coming from. So let's just move on. Um, I think it was a Werner question that actually got to this. So yeah. Um, you, but you said, really how many goals did you think he was gonna get? Next season. Uh, like this uh, next season for the full season, Hassan, how many goals did you think Werner was going to get? Uh, 15 to 20, I would say. 15 to 20? Uh, I, I go with 15 to 20. I think he'll be lucky if he gets 20. I just, I'm not, I won't say he's world class just because he was in the Bundesliga. It's just, I can't go off of that. There's only one. I've, I've seen him play for Germany and he was actually a, a good striker. But Germany has one of the best playing systems exactly, in the world. So you can't judge it. That's what I'm saying. I would, but 
I think he's one of the players that can succeed in any pr- Premier League team. Because he, like, you know, when you see a player and you see their potential, you'd be like, ah, he can do good in any team. He's one of those players. Is he a Chelsea signing? <laughs> Is he a Chelsea signing? Listen? Ask, ask, ask my nav, Dan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what the qualifications are? Oh, I wish there was a Chelsea person on today. Oh, damn. I really what is, that. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't even mean anything. You sign a player by their performance they showed in their old team. It, it, it doesn't, like, what does that mean? The Chelsea sign it? That Man United type of material doesn't even mean nothing. All right. That's facts. I, I agree I mean, with that. But, like, coming to the question, did Chelsea actually really need a striker? Yes. You know what? They needed a striker. Yeah. They needed a striker, but I would have, I would have, uh, I would have, um, I would have hit up that defense with, I would have hit up that left back real quick because I think they really need a left back. I mm-hmm. think, I think it's good they got a striker, but, um, I think they need a center back too, if I'm not wrong. See, like Chelsea needs to spend some serious money this transfer window. I think center back wise with Rudiger and Zuma, you have what you need. I think what Lampard wants. He wants center backs who can play a ball as well. And but, Rudiger and Zuma aren't it. So Christensen is, but he's not a good defender. So he's trying to get a defender who can do both. And it's like, oh, in my opinion, I don't I don't I don't really care about a defender who can play the ball at the back. It does not matter to me. That, I'm not, it is, that's that's just that's what Lampard wants to do. And you know what he says goes pretty much. So, you know, he'll spend the money on the on the center back, sure, but Truthfully, all I would ask for Rudiger and Zuma to do is clear the ball. I think that's all they should be asked to do, not to dribble up with the ball and look for a splitting pass. No, just give it to someone who can find the pass. Give it to Kovacic. Give it to even Jorginho if he's playing. Give it to Conte, who can at least – I don't know if he'll find the pass, but he'll at least just take the ball off of them. Or give it to a fullback. Or or give it to a striker or something, but – I don't know. I think the defense is – I think the left back should be hit up, but I don't know about center back wise. I don't think they're that pressed on it. I think that the fact that he plays Christensen is just stupid. But, uh, yeah, that's just that's just my view on it. I mean, but, like, we really discussed most of Chelsea last episode, so. Yeah. Well, we still have to talk about this one thing. Oh, my gosh. City's ban. How do they open that? How? I don't know how they did it. The UFI doesn't have the power to ban them. They're they're weak. I think the Abu Dhabi group has bribed someone, definitely. Not bribed. Any City fans watching this, I don't give a fuck whatever you say. (laughs) Man United spend more than Man City. Simple as. I mean, yeah, that's true. But at least at least with United, it's like, yeah, I believe that you have that money to do that. It's United. United's still the one of the most commercial commercialized really clubs successful. in the world. So if they have if they, if United were to pay right now a hundred mil for somebody, I believe they have the money too. It's not gonna mm-hmm. be like, oh, they went too far. It's like, no, I think they really do. Even with City with their bank owners and stuff like that, I just still think that United still makes a shit ton uh, shit ton of money because you go anywhere in the world, everyone knows Man United. I mean, not- like, City definitely does not have any income from their fans. Like, no. Nah. I've seen that bitch near empty before, and I'm like, nah, that that can't be it. But You know, fun fact, great. City actually paid an Indian YouTuber to come to Man City, watch the match, and, like, advertise Man City all over his page. And that guy has, like, seven who? To who? His name is BBQ Wines. <laughs> well, I don't know. He's that. an Indian YouTuber. Right? That, yeah. So that they could have some presence in India, they actually did this. Like, wow. they're that desperate for fans. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, 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 think they just, I think they need a Champions League. I think that's really going to be it. They can win the Premier League as many times as they I want. Mean, I, w- I still wouldn't have any respect for City, even if they win the Champions League. Okay, can you, you at least what? respect the Bruyne? Can you at least respect the Bruyne if he wins they're, it? They're the best team in the world. I don't even know what you're talking about. No, I don't think I would. 
I wouldn't have any respect for City or PSG if they win Champions League. Okay, PSG is in the you, Farmers why, League. Why, wait, 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 wait. Why wouldn't you respect Manchester City? I mean, like they they can win it. I'm I'm not saying they they can't win it. They they would I'm they might sure. even I'm win not. it. They will win it. They might. There's a high chance they might kick out Real Madrid from the round of 16. But like because of the way their team has developed and because they play so many games and like they 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 were not a club with history. They're the ones who got like a really good financial backup, and that's how they came forward. That's why I wouldn't have any respect. For them, if they want to, but they're <laughs> but they're still in history. Though. Why wouldn't you respect that? I'm about to say, I, I, I respect opinion. If you guys would do it, I wouldn't mind. It's wait, wait so, you, so you don't respect them because of the money aspect? Listen, yeah, the, the money aspect. Like it, it, you you punch it into any, any team. Like I could just punch in a hundred million into Cambridge United right now, get them into the championship, punch in another like one billion from like some Abu Dhabi sports group, and keep buying players and promise them Champions League. Your team is good to go. That's. I don't. I wouldn't respect them if they didn't win anything, but they've won something. I don't care how it's done. They've still won multiple titles. And I understand you're right. It's your opinion. Like me and Hassan, we both agree. We still respect them, even though. I mean, I, I wish my team can spend as much money as they can and win something. You know what I mean? I mean, it's your like, team does spend as much money. They just spend it on players that don't matter. <laughs> All right. What? That's a lot of. I mean, heat. really, David Luiz. David Luiz. Do I have to say anything? Squadron <laughs> Mustafi. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just saying, like, you, like, you don't respect you them and the money. I money is. Because Pepe would have actually played good at Arsenal. I don't know why he's struggling. The transition, but well, yeah, I mean, that's, should, that's, I'm just I'm saying. Not, you, you, you respect them with the. I mean, you have like, to respect them with the money. Like, uh, right now, uh, Newcastle has a good history, but because of the corruption in the middle and every shit that happened, they downgraded a lot. So now, if they get the same financial backing City has, and if they come back to the glory ways, I'll still have some amount of respect for them because they did have a history. Okay. Well, what about this? What about this? Uh, Hassan, I'm not, I'm not, sorry, Manav, what do you think about this? All right, you don't respect. The club city, but you gotta respect the team, right? I don't respect the players. Like I, the the players are supposed to play good. If the if the team was cultivated to be world class, the players are supposed to play to the expectation of world class. I mean, it's still being cultivated though. Like it doesn't matter if they signed as many players as they did for how much. You still, it's still very difficult to get that kind of group of stars to be playing and exactly. winning. You still got to respect that. You can't just sign. It's not like FIFA where you get everyone who's no, 90 and related. Lose. Hold up. Let me finish. Let me finish real quick. It's not like it's FIFA and where you just sign all these 90 and 80, high 80 rated players and then they magically work. You still need a coach. You still need the right system, the humility. You see the city players. When do you ever see like a, um, uh, an attitude issue? Really too much. You don't see it too much. Gendozi from Arsenal had an attitude issues. That nigga has not won shit to even have an attitude I- issue. Re- uh, Real Madrid, yes, they have a historic team. Yes, they have a histor- uh, historic club. But in the day, I mean, how much how much arrogance does uh, Real Madrid have? I've seen the arrogance they've had, but they still are a humble club in a way. Yeah. They're still a humble way. So I, it's just that I don't think it's fair to say, oh, well, they other teams cultivated. Yes, but no matter how a player gets there, it's still a team that wins should be respected because they're still going up against very, very good teams. Clubs should still be respected. I mean, if I see Aguero and De Bruyne with the UCL medal tomorrow, I'll be like, damn. On their own oh, wait, so, so it's uh, trophies. It's trophies then. Crap. It's not trophies. City has one more uh, – Premier League's in the last 10 years than what United has. So so a Champions League is all that's missing from the from from you. Is that all that's missing for you to, to respect the respect the club really? A Champions League? No, no, he's it's the, their think, history. That's what's missing. They I don't have history. That's why Champions he doesn't respect, them. respect them. Okay. Wait, how many how many titles well, did the city won? How many titles the past 10 years or like I mean, in history, anything back from right now, because anything back from right now is history. 
Okay. No matter if it's one year ago or matter it's to hunt a fifty years ago, it's still oh, yeah, history. Speaking of city, how was the game today? What do you guys think of the game? City was, city was city. Um, once again, I'm not convinced of Jesus as a striker. I'm not convinced of their defense. I'm kind of disappointed that De Bruyne didn't play, but not okay. that he didn't so, start. City has won the Premier League or first division six times. The Premier League, the Premier League four times. Okay. Uh, they okay, have one. won the FA Cup after the money two times and before the money four times. But that's history, right? That's more than most clubs in Premier League, right? That's yeah. still history. You could say that, but like, oh, same can be said for like Nottingham Forest and everyone. They have yeah. won UCL, so they should be respected. Yeah, I respect Nottingham Forest. They've won something. I respect those who win, no matter if it was yesterday or 50 years ago. So I, when you say history, most people, when they say history, they don't give a very definite example. Like if you said, if you don't you respect know, financial the financial fair play was introduced because of Man City spending. That's cool, but they still won it. And would you say that the uh, the 100-point breaking season from City, would you say that they did not deserve – they didn't deserve it? Did they I mean, not play course, very good football? They, they did deserve it. I'm not saying whether they deserve it or not. I'm saying that if they win something, personally, they won't have any respect from me because of the way they have manipulated the entire financial game and uh, the, the club itself, not the players. Maybe like, okay, they're at a stage right now where you can't do anything about it or they're world class, but like. That's funny coming from Real Madrid players since y'all have the like Galactic goes. Y'all the Galacticos, y'all signed a shit ton of people a lot of times. You guys don't bring out youth a lot, really. You've done it a couple times, but y'all are used to buying people and shit like that. And I still respect you guys, regardless. Yeah, but the financial fair play system was not invented because of us. Wait, wait, so, so now you just be, now you would ask the city just because they introduced something, uh, just, because, just because of them being the main issue to why something like... Yeah, uh, but like, even if, like, Real Madrid, they bought those players on their own merit. Okay, so you just been out of shape because they, br they brought that out. That's, that's it. City, because they, they spent the amount they did, you don't respect them because of that. That's just it, right? Yeah, because they had a huge takeover and everything. And okay, like, so, even, like, okay. right now, they got away from the ban... There's pretty, there's some pretty shady shit behind it too. I'm pretty sure. Okay, wow, so, wow. so let's just say it. it's not the history part. You just don't like the fact that someone spent a lot of money. A shit no, ton that, of money. that's not true. You can spend as much money okay, as so you want. Why? Why do you hate a team for being? If they spend a lot of money, I should hate Barcelona, Manchester United. I should hate Real Madrid. Hold up, hold up. United have a shit ton of money, and when's the last time they've, they've won a title? I really don't care about United. But but still, they still spend a shit ton of money. You said earlier that United have spent more than City, right? And they still have a title. But it it for me, it's it's just not making sense. I'm not I'm not gonna try. I'm not trying to change your opinion. I'm just trying to find a logical way to understand it. Because for me, it it doesn't logically make sense unless you say that you just don't like a team because they have spent a shit ton of money to get to where they are. It's not just a shit ton of money. They broke so many rules, and they're still breaking rules to this day. Wait, what, what rules did they break? I'm trying to... So, like, even the UFA ban right now. Like, everyone was shocked. Like, every, every freaking manager in the Prem is angry that how did they get away with it? They still won the Premier League, though, and it was undisputed. It was still undisputed. They could have... They still won it, and it had nothing too much to do with financial fair play. They won I, it because they were the better team. I don't think the players at all. I think De Bruyne is one of the best in the world right now, not the best center yeah. in the world right now. And okay. Guardiola himself is really great. I have nothing against the players. I have nothing against the managers. A club is supposed to be a club. But, like, how the club got to that place, that is the problem for me. And how they get to that place. There shouldn't be no problem, to be honest. They spend a whole lot of money. They bought players, great players. Then they got to stay. That, that shouldn't be a problem. They're, they they spend a whole lot of money to win trophies. And they did the right thing. If any team wants, if any team wants to compete for silver or a medal, 
they'll spend a whole lot of money. This is That's a what Arsenal era. is struggling like, to do. Arsenal is struggling to rules. spend. None of those teams would break rules and get away with it. Like Juventus, they got relegated for breaking it. Why couldn't City do it? Why couldn't they do the same with City? I don't know. We weren't there. We just heard the decision. We don't know exactly what happened. Exactly. We, don't know, we don't know exactly what they broke. We don't we don't know as it's like saying, oh, Jose Mourinho right now, he's the reason why Tottenham are, are just being poor. You know what you can say that, but unless you're in a dressing room, unless you're really seeing the shit happen and unfold, you don't know. You really don't. You have a best guess, but you don't know. It's like a hypothesis. You have you're you have you're giving your best guess under the information you've been given, but you don't have all the information. Your guess can be flawed. It can be wrong. So, yes, in your eyes and many others, City could be uh, could have broken every fucking rule, and they still could have just bought, bought their way into to passing the test. But, I mean, as for, from what we've seen, we don't know. We don't know. And if, if you don't respect them because of the way they got it, cool. Cool. Because now we're moving on from this question because I know this has got to – this has just fucking got my head down like Hassan got his head down. Thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness! But I was, uh, I was I mean, actually, was I was actually searching. Huh? What'd you say? I was actually, I was actually searching for, for why they exactly get banned uh, at the beginning, just to find, just to, to yeah. get my mind straight. You know what I mean? I just don't want to argue for, for something that they did do or not. You know what I mean? Yeah, I was actually seeing a meme yesterday, like the way City has been beating the teams. They're like, be very scared, Real Madrid, be very scared. They should be. And They're I think scared. we're gonna lose for sure. Oh yeah, most most definitely. That's just that's just what's gonna happen. Hey, if you win, that it'll be one of those upsets that's like, wow. It's not like you know, Barca. If we Liverpool. win, I, I'm pretty sure we'll pay the referees. Yep. I mean, that or we got really, really lucky. Either the two. Shit, I could actually not respect Real Madrid just because they'd be paying those refs for VAR. But you know what? I have no proof. I have no proof, so I can't <laughs> make that. I can't make that assumption. And speaking of today, what about Tottenham? Did y'all expect them to win three one at Newcastle? Uh, I mean, Harry uh, King. Yeah, he got a brace. He finally scored. His green got his goal, two goals. Harry mm. King, wow. Yeah, he he's just one of those strikers and stuff. Actually, someone was I was I was watching AFTV and it was before the Arsenal and Spurs match. It was Robbie and this the Spurs fan. I forgot his name, but they um they were saying, all right, who's the better striker, uh, Bami Yang or uh, Kane? And there was like it went on for a fucking minute. Hassan, you probably you look like you've seen it. Uh, I watched it. Yeah. You seen it? Yeah. Who who do you guys think? Is it is it Kane or Obama? Yeah. Oh, yeah that, that's, I'm, I, I, I don't know. Both of them are like really good. I can't say anything. I'll go with Obama Yang. But it's like it's like you have to go from you can play Obama Yang on the left side, he will score either way. You can play him a striker. If you play Harry Kane on the left side, <laughs> he, he's nowhere to be found. Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying, Obama, Obama is playing in a place where he's not comfortable with, but he's still he's scoring 20 plus goals, and you gotta respect him. He's the faster striker. He can run behind defenders. Hurricane can do that because he's slow. Yeah. Uh, what Hurricane do is like he can. He can shoot. He can, he can shoot finish. the ball really that's, well. That's what a does he can he finish. The yeah, he's he's a proper striker. He can finish. But Aubameyang, he got that Obama striker really instinct. Like he got that striker instinct. He can score from anywhere, and he's at the right place, the right time. Yeah. So I, I believe Aubameyang is the better striker. Cool. Cool. I mean, Appreciate that, man. I'm, I'm the same. Bombing. I go with a bombing. I'll give the explanation in a second, but I want to hear what Manav has to say. Because I, I mean, both of them are e- equally good. Like, I, I, I wouldn't choose between both of them. It depends on the tactics. Depends on the player. Choose. You gotta choose. Hey, I, I don't want to freaking start a controversy, man. 
Conversation right. was already started way before we did this video. <laughs> I, I go with Harry Kane. I knew it. I knew we were going to go Harry Kane. Uh, <laughs> is it, is it because, <laughs> it's okay. I don't blame you. I, if anyone chooses Kane or Aubameyang, it's kind of like it's a tough choice. So I respect either one because I'm willing to respect either one. But now, <laughs> uh, is, it, is it for you? Is, is, it, is it Kane? The, the thing because in that sentence was willing to respect. Okay, yeah, I was just messing with you, but, but seriously, like Kane, do you choose him because he's more of an all-around player? Yeah, so I mean, like, uh, both of them are pretty good players. Like, even Aubameyang is a captain, Harry Kane is a captain. Both of them are good finishers. Both of them are good in their separate attacking positions. Mm -hmm. Sub positions, to be honest. Yeah. And, oh, I think, like, if even if we made like a national team comparison, the Harry Kane just has the better team because let's face it, who else plays for Gabon? Name one other famous player for Gabon. Lerma. Aubameyang. Aubameyang and Lerma. Lerma plays with Bournemouth, and he's not a famous, but he's like the second, I think. But that's low. I, I don't even know why I said that. I don't even know how I know that. I just do. But uh, I can understand that. That's a good shout out for Kane. Um, mm -hmm. I would choose I would choose Aubameyang simply because mainly because of what Hassan said he can be played out of position and he can still rack up goals and I think if Aubameyang and Kane were to switch teams Aubameyang would score more goals and Kane would score as much as he would I don't think he'd score more I th I don't think he scored like a lot less maybe like one or five goals less but because he was injured this season because. Kane I'm not good. going off of this season. I'm going off the best I've seen of Kane. I've seen Kane throughout since he's been I mean, the first best team. Best of Kane? Are you, are, are you comparing the best of Kane with the best of Aubameyang? The best of Kane is way above Aubameyang. Hey, hey, this is my time, sir. This is my time. What are you talking about right now? I'm giving my example. I'm giving my example. I, as a striker, because I want someone to score goals, I think Aubameyang's just – he offers more. Kane needs help from others. He's like, he's like Ronaldo in the way that Ronaldo – He'll score if it's inside the box, and he just needs someone to put it there for him, a good cross or a good passer. Aubameyang is, you know, he doesn't – if he really – he really doesn't need anyone sometimes. Sometimes he'll just go on his own. And Kane – Kane's a better, like – if I want to say who's better at placing their shots with either foot, I would say Kane. Yeah. But Aubameyang for me is what I – I like to look for in any tactic, almost any tactic for me. Aubameyang, especially because he can play out wide, but it would be Aubameyang. I just I don't see anyone for what he does for Arsenal. Um, it's insane. It's insane. He should not be doing what he does. He should not be putting up the goals. It's Arsenal actually fucking insane. Arsenal doesn't deserve him. No, we're not gonna talk about that now. But the thing is, <laughs> this man, who the, the thing is, it's like Harry Kane is like he got more like. Alex like a Z style. They're like they they hold defenders and yeah. they they're more like score but Aubameyang, when he sees his midfielders get the ball, he's looking for the run. And they like understand our midfield is not that good. So they're like but he always looking for the run. Running behind defenders. I understand he doesn't score a lot like most of his chances, but he's he, he, he scores. He's scary. Like, he's scary. He's, 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 he's very so dangerous. difficult to scare him. I mean, to, to play against him. Shoot. Well, what's that? He had a Black Panther mask when he put it on before. <laughs> That's exactly how you would describe him, man. He is scary to go up against because if you play high up, he's going to run behind you. If you sit in deep, he got electric, like, senses, man. He just knows yep. where it's going to be. Kane is the same way, but it's more so – in the box. Like, if you sit deep, maybe yeah. Kane's your best bet. But it's counterattacking wise, Obama blood. Obama, like easy. Obama, yeah. Easy. Yeah. But uh, that's cool. Um, yeah, I really did figure you were going to say Kane, man. Uh, if I could have put money on it, I really would have. But uh, <laughs> he just wanted to disagree with us, to be honest. I don't think he believes Kane is the better striker. Well, I'm no, no, no. I think he does. I thought about because he he thinks like a football manager, and I play football manager, so I know how he's gonna think. I know what he's what he's gonna say. And a football manager, if I had to pick one between them, I would pick Kane. But if I'm in real life, 
I'm picking up Bamiyang. I guess. I mean, Kane is more like Benzema, so I understand. <laughs> Yo, don't even make the comparison, bro. They play. It is true. Styles. They no. play similar. They're nah, slow, nah, but they nah, pull nah, 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 nah. They don't. They, they don't play similarly at all. Oh, what? gosh. If they played good. similar, I would have said that Tottenham should sign Benzema instead of Liverpool. So who's better? Who's better? Um, <laughs> As a support attacker, Benzema. As a finisher, Harry Kane. Okay, wait, wait. No, no, we're not doing that football yeah. manager answer. We're doing, exactly. like, who's better? Like, like, no, don't do that. No. Give an answer. Give an answer. Uh, Benzema. There we go. Uh, yes. I mean... I think Benzema so, has more goals than Harry Kane overall. But, like, Harry Kane seen, is a little bit younger, so I shouldn't make that judgment. Harry Kane is 24. Benzema... No, he's 26. What are you talking about, 24? I think he's 26. Yeah, I'm about to say, like, he's not 24. No he's way. He's not 24 at all. 24. He was 24 at Leicester. Guy's 26. He's going to turn... His birthday is coming up July 28th. Yeah, he's 26. I hey, guess he's still young, though. Hey, happy birthday, Harry Kane. I'm the only girl over here who is with you. I love you. Rest of them song, don't give any. He's, he's a time he, he was he was a he was a Arsenal fanboy when he was young. So yeah, that, that's they're always clowning him with that. <laughs> I would love it if Kane went to Chelsea. I would love huh? to see that. Kane at Chelsea. I, All right, don't hit me for this. I think Kane yeah. is a United player. What do you say? I think Kane would fit really great at United. He would. Yeah, I can he see really that. He would. But I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to. I think I like Martial doing what he's doing right now. If I know he was consistent, I would say Martial. Yeah, Martial is crazy because Martial, if he has those but, like good senses in the box, and then he can run at you. Like Aubameyang is like one of no, nah, not Aubameyang. Martial, if he's consistent, like for this season and the beginning of next. I mean, how many strikers do you know who can run at three people and still score? Like, not run at you like, oh, he's just, you know, biding time for his teammates. Nah, a nigga don't need teammates. He just needs the ball. Uh, Marshall, Sterling. What do you say, Hassan? Sterling. Theo Walcott once upon a time. I mean a striker. I mean a striker, not, not a winger. A striker? I mean, Striker, yeah. How many strikers like sent in the mid, like in the if center? Rashford right? played striker, Fer- yes. Firmino. If uh, no, Firmino can't do that anymore. Hell yeah, he couldn't, he couldn't ever do it actually. He can't run through people, he okay. Can. Just because, I've has seen, the, no, I've I know what you're it. talking about. You're talking about the time that Firmino ran through Arsenal's defense. <laughs> That's what you're talking right. about. You can't, you can't say that. Oh, he's he can run through people, he ran through Mustafi. He ran, he ran through. He ran through Mustafi. Come on. Where did this guy said he ran through Mustafi? Right. <laughs> Firmino and Gabriel Jesus are the most skilled striker I've ever seen. I think Gabriel Jesus needs to develop a little bit more. Who? Gabriel Jesus. Uh-huh. I think he needs but, to develop a little bit more. He's, he's, he's not at his point. Nah, the, I'm. I'm just saying they're very skilled. Oh, yeah. In uh, terms of soccer, right? they're very skilled. Well, like, you know, most of the strikers, he's they're not just the type finishing. of striker who's going to beat defenders. He's a false nine. Nah, he's right very right skilled. He's a false nine. Dude, he's exactly. actually, he's a, when he plays wing, he's a router meter. You know, he's actually... He's a striker, he's a false nine. He's actually not a striker. And when he was in Germany, he was playing as an attacking midfielder. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. It was router meter. That's why he calls him a false nine. I mean, I understand why he goes... But the thing is, Firmino and Gabriel Jesus are very skilled. They're probably they're probably skilled because they're Brazilian. I don't yeah, but, even. But like most they, they of the strikers in the Premier League, they're just scorers. They're not even good at. Giroud is a scorer. Uh, Aubameyang is not even that skilled, to be honest. He's just fast. He's not really good with the ball, but he nope. he so, score goals. Lacazette just score goals. Uh, who we got? Aguero just score goals. Harry Kane. Oh if you see Gab- if you see Gabriel Jesus, god damn, that guy got his quick. Yeah, because Gabriel is forward, forward, bro. Forward, like he's so he's like the perfect mix of support and attack. 
He just I'm needs to get that, that part that – here's the thing I think that Martial has that those guys don't. He can actually get ahead of – he's, like, physically strong. Like, he's yeah. stronger than Firmino and Jesus. And Martial developed nicely at United. Like, he's a false nine, too. <laughs> he's not <laughs> – I mean, he's not a striker. <laughs> Uh, I think he. I think if if he's a deep flying attacker, he's not. There's a difference between a false nine and a deep flying attacker. I mean, he's a he's a winger. He's not a striker. That's not his position. He's playing striker because they don't have striker. So uh, he's mostly an inside forward attacker. Yeah, he. he I don't know. I want Martial you know, actually, to stay at striker. I want him to stay at striker. I don't want him to go out wide. I don't think I don't think Martial should stay striker. I think Rashford should stay striker. Rashford is better striker than him. Really, Rashford? I don't think so. Man. Yeah, I was to say what nothing Rashford, supports that. He was shit when he was I, up top. Yeah, I've seen him shit. play up top, and he couldn't. Dude, he can't make. Develop, he yeah. can't make proper runs. He's been at the club for years. He's had time to develop. Martial's been there for years, even shorter amount of years. But Rashford, is, is, he, he, he said he's been in Man U for too long, but he came in the scene when he was 18. That's why you think uh, he has to. De- but people say Jesse Lingard has to hey, develop his game, but he's, he's got been 27. The Rashford debut of Rashford against Arsenal. Why do why you have to bring this up, bro? <laughs> Dude, we don't need to already. No, I'm not. I'm not doubting Rashford, but it's just like I it, between Greenwood, Martial, and Rashford, the person I see playing at striker before them three oh is Martial, God. and then second would be Greenwood, and then third would be Rashford. I guess that yeah, makes sense. Because Greenwood. It, at striker, he would still score. <laughs> How do you guard God him? Damn. How would you guard God, him? Guys, yeah. Put him on his left foot, nigga. Go to his right. Put him on his right foot. The only thing we haven't seen him do is win a header. And then once he does that, bro, he's gonna be. Once he does that, but the scary part is he's, he's <laughs> man walks 18, away. Bro. Seventeen. Wait, how old is he? 18, 17. 18? Yeah. 18, I think. Let's check. Oh my lord. He's ridiculous. He's, He's going to He's turn 18. 19 October 1st. Damn, that guy's as old as me. If he wasn't two-footed, I know that he wouldn't be in the uh, team, though, probably. He probably wouldn't be in the team. And he wouldn't never. Nah, he probably, I think he probably would. Okay, if he would be in the team, I know he wouldn't be scoring the amount he would, he would have. He would not. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. He would true. have maybe – he wouldn't be breaking records. He wouldn't be known as, like, a star star. He would just be, yeah. like – he would be the same as Rashford for me, nearly the same, the same potential. And and I'm really excited for what Alexis Sanchez is going to do because he's coming back this coming season. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> this, this guy right here! Why did they sign him? Why did they sign? I never understood but that when he when he went to United. I was like, he's oh. the best. He's the best Arsenal player to ever played the game besides Terry. But, but no, no, and and after two thousand and ten, there you go. That's that's yeah. I was like uh, best Arsenal. Yeah, I was like <laughs> play the game. I'm like no, 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 no. After two thousand and ten, I didn't want to have to pull so you this the, time, man. <laughs> that's the best signing Wenger ever made in that team, bro. It's I think the best ever for Arsenal is undoubtedly Terry Henry. Yeah, I think, I, Dennis, I think Dennis Burke. But that, Dennis Burke. I think he's the greatest. Nah, 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 one of the greatest signings, if not the greatest. Mm. He Dennis was, he was, but not, but Terry Henry, bro. If you're going, if you're going with the player, and, I would agree with you. Terry Henry is better than Burke than Burke, in my opinion. Like, who's the biggest legend? Terry Henry, easily. But if you're telling me like exactly. who is the greatest signing, I would say Burke Camp because Burke Camp won a title. Yeah. Before without Henry, on- he won a title without Henri. But Henri was a different breed of ball. I'm he was, you. but Bergkamp was the signing. I'm not saying he's a better player, but he was the best signing. I guess. And I don't. But, but, whenever you need a goal, bro, Henri, Henri was like Suarez when he was in Liverpool. If you remember that. Oh yeah, you I remember need that, a goal? that one. 
That you, run still gives me chills. A, gives me chills. You Goosebumps. Need, you, you need a goal, he will dig deep by himself and get you a goal. Same play. Yeah. That's the only thing about Bamiang that, like, I when people say, like, oh, he's he's like the new Tierra, I'm like, no, because Thierry could run behind mm. you and yeah. dribble past you and at flicks yeah. and tricks. I mean, he came up with his own skill moves at Arsenal that the world knows. Like, the Thierry on repass, it was at Arsenal. And, shit, like, people know that and shit like that. So that's – I mean – I remember him like his kit, the O2 kit from the last time you uh, at Highbury, the the yeah. dark red one, him with the white boots, the white neck. Oh man, that was cold. That was cold. He was that person that you could say, "Oh, he's bald. He has no hair, but he's so good. He makes it work. He's so yeah. good. He makes it work. Nigga don't need hair." One thing he was missing when he was in Arsenal was winning the Champions League. We went to the finals, but you lost to Barcelona. They to had fair, to cheat. That was that was a level years. team. <laughs> they had Ronaldinho, Eto, uh, Deco. I think they had more stars. That was level. They they did, but we we got a red card first step. That that yeah. So yeah, that was the real murder. And we scored first two that game. That was the crazy part. We got a red card and we scored first. I like Campbell. Campbell was a great sign. For me, I'm like, bro, if you a Spurs fan, how you let him go? <laughs> Campbell was great. Great. Because we were, we were uh, uh, London, London was red at that time. It's still red, but London was Arsenal. Arsenal. Boy, like, you, Arsenal was the biggest red? team in London. Nah, it's nah. It's still red. London is blue. London is blue. I'm about to nah, say, nah, nah, nah. they won. They won. I don't know what you mean to say. They they just um, recently won. Yeah. London is blue. That's like that's like saying that's like Real Madrid winning the title and then like oh they didn't win the title. No, they they did. Maybe next year they won't, but they definitely I mean, did. Ch- Chelsea did, bro. Um, all right. All right. Controversial. Manchester is blue. Manchester is red. But I can't believe they won the Champions League before us. Though. That just that pisses me off. Hey, as as Manal would say, they got that Abramovich money right there, so he don't respect them for that. Their team is not even that good that season. They they fired uh what's his name? They fired uh their coach. Yeah. And do you know how when we fired Una Emre and then Freddie Lundberg took over? They fired their coach and Di Matteo took over. And then they won the Champions League. That was the craziest thing. They defended 90 minutes against Barcelona. Remember what Fernando Torres? He passed by Victor Valdez and scored. But that was just, that was, that was crazy. That's what thing. killed me. I was like, y'all know y'all could have had, you know, after the Inter, Barcelona Inter tie, well, I don't know why they didn't just get a defense after that. They and then, especially after the the Manchester United 2011, when Messi mm. fucked up the world, like destroyed <laughs> everyone. I mean, that made you do it. No, no United player was safe. No United player was safe. He scored, he Messi scored ahead Real Madrid fans. No, I mean 2011. Yeah, 2011. Messi brings back some nightmares from Real Madrid fans. Yeah, man, that you was when he, when he dribbled through the whole Real Madrid. Oh my God. I was he was levels that season, but like what happened next season with the Chelsea thing, I was like, why don't y'all just use that money to bring in some defenders? Y'all want to get Fabregas, y'all want to get Tiago, y'all want to get all these other guys. Why don't you just get a defender? Why is it so hard? Uh, I mean, their team wasn't bad. It's just Chelsea, the, his, the whole team, they were defensively, they were tactically really good. They were set up really like. They're defensively, they're defensively really good. And, they and had going Daniel forward, Drogba. they had Drogba. Yeah, Drogba, and Fernando Drogba Drogba came through. Controversial opinion. Do you huh? think Drogba was overrated? Oh, what? I don't think he's overrated. I don't think he's overrated. No, I'll, I'll never say he's overrated because every time they they play against us, he was the one making me. All right. Uh, do you think Drogba he was the every best? time we played against that? Do you think Drogba was the best African player to play in the Premier League? Nah, he's up there. He's up there. 
would say there. I would say JJ Okacha, but he's up there, though. Who hey, would you say has said? Who would you say? He's an Arsenal fan. JJ Okocha. I don't even know who that's, that is. Who, JJ Okocha? I don't even know who that is. <laughs> bro, Google JJ Okocha. Oh, what? you said JJ Okocha. I'm sorry, I didn't hear it. You, you, bro, your static is weird. I, I didn't hear JJ Okocha, I don't think yeah. he's the best. I think it, it has to be. Yeah, I'd say he's the best. African Drogba, yeah. Drogba. Yeah, I'd say he won the Premier League. He was he, than, he was he wasn't like top goal scorer or anything, but he still better than Samuel Eta. What'd you say, Nick? Samuel, Samuel Eta won. Season in the Premier League. Not Samuel. Eta. Samuel. Oh my bad. He my won bad. everywhere. I'm he sorry. Won yeah. in, when he was in Barca, he won in Inter. He it's won not when he came to Chelsea. It's not drug yeah, It's my fault. It's, it's Torre. Torre is the best African player to play in the Premier League. Torre. Yeah, you're Torre. I mean, yeah, it's Torre. debatable. It's very, it's, it's debatable. I go, He's yeah, out yeah. there. He's very skilled. That's a really good topic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the thing is, the thing is, uh, Samuel Eto'o won every. He won in Italy. He won in... Uh, we just talked about the in, in the Spain. Premier League, though. We're talking about the yeah, best. Eto did not win the Champions League. Oh, we're, talk... we're, we're talking. We're talking about in the Premier League. Yeah, we're just talking about Premier League. Oh, yeah, J. It has to be J. J. Okocha then. Okay, he's going with J. J. Okocha. I would it go has with Yaya Touré. If you're I mean, saying Yaya Touré is out there too, it's debatable. It's debatable, but it's like I don't know. I mean, I've seen J. J. Okocha, and that man was, bruh skills to like none other i mean Jaden sancho has skills and stuff and he's like a real street player but jj coach was just different gravy that he was a street player he did some shit against united that i will never forget i will never I'm saying it. but it's like but, he didn't win anything because he was playing for a shit he was, he was playing for a bullpen but yeah. like um, it was he was just a different breed well, whatever happened to bolton yeah, no, they went down. <laughs> <laughs> no fucking like all the teams that were that were giving us a hard time, like that was giving Arsenal a hard time back then, like Bolton, Reading, uh, Fulham, Forest. They're they're non-existent, bro. I don't even know where they are right now. Y'all know what Zav said? He's like, I can come on at eleven, and I'm like, bro, we're probably gonna be done. Like we're gonna try and be done at that time. All right. I got, I got, I got one last question before. One last question, yeah. So, um, we're not going to talk about the Arsenal game. So, do you think tomorrow? Hold up, hold up, real quick. Uh, uh, pick up. Now, nah, hold up, real quick. Yeah. Hassan, we we just talked about the Arsenal game. That congratulations we gave you. He's just having a good day, so he wants to constantly talk about it. No, 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 not congratulations. Like a little bit about the game, like our. <laughs> VVD our fucked up. <laughs> Allison fucked Man, up. Our, our, our defense, how we defended the whole game. All right, man. Yeah. All right. Y'all All are right. still comparing Van Dyke to Ramos. Did you see the guy? Did you see the save he made against Granada? Who? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, defenders, they do make mistakes. Like, defenders like Van Dyke. They make mis- like they make those type of mistakes like once or twice a season, but the Arsenal defenders make those mistakes every day, two, three times every game, bro. That's <laughs> what. <laughs> that's um. Uh, the thing. The thing. What pissed me <laughs> off our defenders. <laughs> this guy minimum. Just minimum. Bro, yeah. the thing, I when I was watching the Spurs game, I I swear I saw Louise like fuck up twice before. <laughs> Uh, uh, I, yeah, I saw Luis fuck up twice before I saw him, um, Kalasnac do what he did. <laughs> right? It's like uh, there's inconsistency in our defense. That's what we're trying to fix right now. So right. we defended we defended great today, but against Tottenham, we played a beautiful football, but we defended bad, so we lost. But today we defended really good. But Liverpool controlled the whole game, but we still won. You know what I mean? 
Yeah. So I, I, I like that. I like that part. I can actually see a difference with the Arsenal team now. I can actually see you guys going forward. But you know what would really help? If you throw those fucking defenders out. Get rid of them. Drop them like a bad habit. Let them niggas go. Get some else. Get someone else. Yo, can yeah. I just... Can, can, hey, Hassan and uh, Jordan, can I just read the stats of today's Arsenal versus Liverpool game? Sure, sure. So, shots, 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 <laughs> Arsenal 3, Liverpool 24. Shots on target, Arsenal 2, Liverpool 8. Possession, Arsenal 33%, Liverpool 67%. Wow. Uh, Pounds, who got Arsenal the three point at the end? Liverpool 10. Corners, Arsenal 2, Liverpool 13. You know, that's the difference between Liverpool and City. If, if City has possession, they're probably killing you, actually. They're, they're probably well. killing you if they have that much possession. Bro, how the, the hell is, did Arsenal win today is my question. I think it's down to Arsenal being mistakes. better and they Liverpool made being worse. <laughs> we capitalized on their mistakes. Lacazette was clinical today, bro. Two I mistakes? Even... Yeah, assisted and he scored. Yeah. We when you when you when you have a chance to cut. The thing is, people can say Arsenal is trash, this, this, and that. But when you got quality strikers out top, if 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 they were probably playing against, let's say Southampton, they probably wasn't going to finish those mistakes. You know what I mean? When you play with with a team that has quality yeah. players that can do that, like you you can't afford to make mistakes. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's why yeah. we want. That's the. But, that's why it comes to the difference. You know but I mean? dead ass, hey, hey, I'm gonna send that ass. I mean, I even capping. I think Liverpool's been shitty ever since the win. That you can't even. <laughs> hey, no cap. They've really dropped. Yeah, no one they, can doubt they, that. They, they, they don't care anymore. They 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 just wanted the Premier League, and they're like, now nah, we're done. We're not focusing on this competition anymore. Only man who cares they, is Klopp. They should make a meme on that where it says where it has a picture of Klopp <laughs> just saying. When everyone else has given up, but you still trying hard as fuck. <laughs> right. Hey, yo. Thing is, think that Real Madrid is going to lift up La Liga tomorrow. What? Yeah. Do you think Real Madrid is going to lift up La Liga tomorrow? Yes. I have no... You know what? I don't even know what's happening in La Liga right now. <laughs> oh, so they either have to perform as good as or better than Barcelona tomorrow to win La yep. Liga. Yo, I actually, I have a friend in Spain who's a Madrid fan. And this is how much of a Madrid fan he is. When uh, they went to go get the Champions League, like, medal and stuff like that, the race, the trophy, he was in the stands, like, where his – because his dad's, like, uh, I'm not going to give out his name just because it's his, he's, like, his dad's pretty much, like, military, like, one of the top, like, generals uh, or something like that. So he's been in like he's been he said he's gonna be there whenever that when they lift the uh the cup to, he's gonna be like in the main thing like with his dad and stuff like that. And I was like, Hey, send me a pic. Send me a pic of him them lifting it and stuff. Yeah. And did he? No, 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 like tomorrow. Oh, damn, that's gonna be nice. Yeah. Introduce me to the guy, he's a murdered fan. Uh if if he sends me a pic, I'll put it up on my like my, my IG. I can't, I don't know if I, I can't be spreading his name around like that just because he's yeah he's uh he's, I understand I understand I get yeah. it but uh yeah what what was the last question you want to ask Manaf like because I know you want to ask yeah that's what I wanted to ask like whether they were gonna lift up tomorrow or is it gonna be like really suspenseful no it's kind of been done it's been dead for weeks it's kind of like everyone knows what's gonna happen uh. Matter of fact, actually, I did want to ask. I said that fight that was supposed to be happening today. I don't know who who's who's fighting and stuff. Is it is it tonight? Huh? Isn't there like a a fight for like UFC tonight? Yeah, yeah. yeah. About half in and watch. Hey, that, UFC man. in a football meeting, man. Hey, hey, <laughs> I'm just bringing it up. You know, just bringing that shit up real quick on the fly because we about to go out. Uh, anything? Any, any other questions you guys want to ask? Because that was all I had to ask today. Uh, I hope y'all. I hope y'all pray for me for Saturday, Man City against Arsenal. I'm really, <laughs> really scared, bro. Hey, can show me my predictions <laughs> for that match. Guys, 
Arteta actually saved Mustafi. Young. I hope he didn't save Kalasinac for that game. I'm hoping, bro. And Mustafi as well. I, I, I call the 3-0 win, City. I call 2-1 for City. 2-1? Yeah. I called, I think, 4-1. Something like that. <laughs> Ali, man, you got no faith. I'm telling you, but they, Man City been playing some beautiful football, bro. Man City been playing some amazing football. And it's you know how hard to beat that team, bro? Like, you have to be super lucky like we were today to beat that Party team. Guardiola is another level. Uh, I don't know. I got, I got faith. I got faith in y'all. I mean... If y'all put if y'all if y'all do enough, maybe y'all can get something out. I know their their defense ain't tough, man. They need their defense is kind of a yeah, joke. Okay. I guess, but like I don't know, but if we if if I set up it's the right team and the right tactic, we probably uh, but I don't have faith. I'm sorry. Man City is too good, bro. <laughs> they're just you have to be honest, um they have they're too good. We're not on the same level, you know what I mean? I'm That's really true. surprised how we won today. I beat all on like 24 to three shots, really. We've never won, like won a game like this before. This is when we win game. games. <laughs> it's like when we when we win games, it's either we played really good and win, or we don't win at all. You know what's crazy? You guys played today like a mid table or like mid table team. You guys didn't play like you were a top team. You guys played like you were mid-table. And I'm glad you guys did that because you finally understand where you are right now as a team, yeah. but not as a club. Exactly. Ars- Arsenal is still a top six club because of the fucking history, right, Manav? Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> history. <laughs> but as a team, it's good Man, that you're like getting I'll that mentality. And that is because of Arteta. I know that is because of Arteta because you guys would just like, oh, we can beat these guys. I'm like, bro. Y'all see what Bayern did to you in the Champions League? They be- no. When Bayern did that to you, that should have been like a wake-up call. Like, hey, uh, we ain't top dog no more. We ain't top dog in nowhere, anywhere. We're like mid. Yeah, bro. All right. Well, I'm going to let y'all go. Let's, uh, let's pray for a sin. If you, you want to pray for a sin, please leave a like below <laughs> and put an emoji of – go ahead and put that pray symbol right there for – hashtag pray for a sin in Arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, hashtag play, pray for Benzema to go to fucking Tottenham, I guess. What? This, this man, Benzema <laughs> lover. I'm going to change my mind. You're not a Ramos lo- a lover. You're a Benzema lover. Nah, 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 nah. Benzema nah, nah, fanboy. Nah, nah. Benzema fanboy over here. No, 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 no. All right, all right. Let's get out of here. It was, thank you guys for coming on. Uh, I think we did this in like an hour and 20 minutes, so. Let's take a that moment. Be, yeah. yeah, that was quick. I like that. That was that's that's shorter. We're doing better. We're doing better. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys uh when I see you. All right. Peace yeah. out, guys. Peace. Mm-hmm. Right.